without further ado, my locker mate, former Pittsburgh Steeler, former West Virginia Mountaineer, almost heaven, linebacker, <laughs> Terrence Garvey. <laughs> TG, man, how we living, baby? What's the word? What's the word? Almost heaven. I like that, but we feeling good. I'm just chilling. I'm okay. Relaxing. Man, everybody was feeling? nervous, man. They thought that, you know, you had... You ain't want to rock with us no more. We were sad over here. I said man. that you were tired. I was like, man, TG been out here working these camps with me. We've been going, we've been driving to Lake Troll these past two days. Maybe he's man. just taking a nap. We were late calling him. He's just a little tired. But yeah, we man. Have, we have been working these last couple of days. It's been a little grind. It, 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 it low-key has been, though, man. But I like how you coach, though, man. You know, vid dropping soon. Y'all see the vid soon. But yeah, okay. man, I, I like I like how you coach, though, player. Yeah, yeah, you look good out nah. there, man. I try to do something, you know, yeah. lifting as we climb tight. Talk you know? about it, man. Hey, you know, trying to keep going up and help them come up how I came up. That's what I'm talking you about. Know? That's what I'm talking yeah. about, man. Impact, because you did have passion, which I did. Like, you weren't just out there collecting a the check. You were actually putting in work. I said, man, shout out to my dog. <laughs> just, just just, young and pure out here with these kids, man. Good dude, man. Real good dude. Nice. Yeah. I had some uh, flashbacks being out there at Latrobe, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, the Coliseum, man. That's what you called it, right? <laughs> the Coliseum, man. <laughs> hey, win the crowd. And you'll win your freedom. Facts. Like, Facts. How is it? That's the anthem. That's the law. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now, before you had called, we were in the middle. Well, actually, we had just finished up everything we were talking about. But a couple of things we wanted to talk with you about, man. We needed to get your top 10 <laughs> coaches in the NFL, baby. I need to know them because we, 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 we were going on our list and we, we actually were fairly similar with our names just kind of the order was a little shifted up and stuff like that but i needed to know from you man how, how you liking this this top 10 action man where, where we at um <laughs> top 10 so in order yeah how you go like 10 it? to 1 how you like it um let me see i would say oh that's a goal that's a goal that's a goal <laughs> That's a go. Yeah. So I, I, I oh, let, me, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me start at maybe one and let me count down. All Ooh, right, all okay, right. okay. So you go, how you gonna call up the show and then just say I'm gonna do it my way now? Dang, yeah, on, only because it's you. Down. Only because it's you. All right, all right. Let's um, go. <laughs> so at one, I mean personally, I'm gonna say Coach T, Coach T. I think Coach T's the best coach in the league. Shout out. Okay. Like shout you. out. I think Belichick is two. Okay, okay. Um, I think Sean McVay is three. Okay, okay. I think Andy Reid is four. We like your list already. All right, okay. Um, let's say I'm gonna go Bruce Arians at five. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I like that. Nah, I think you just go with it. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to go Coach Pete Carroll at six. All right, all right. Hardball at seven. I like that. I like that. Um, let's think. Was it, what, what's the Coach Jacksonville Peterson? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, throw him in there. That's deep. He, 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 he got that ring. Deke yeah. over here is cheesing because you said I'm on some Doug Peterson. Oh, Lord. All right, all right. <laughs> coach of the Bills is Nick McDermott. Hey, man, don't you just say the coach <laughs> of the Bills? You know who Sean McDermott is. Don't you do that. Yeah, Come on, T. Don't you do that. You know what the coach is. It's changed up there now. <laughs> I'm going to throw him right there. <laughs> Where I'm at, that's nine, right? Uh, I think so. depending on how you want to count, yeah, 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 nine. And, um, mm, I'm gonna say. You want us to throw you some names out? Yeah, throw, give me a name. Throw me some names out. Lafleur, Shanahan, Vrabel. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Zach Taylor on the Bengals. Yeah. McCarthy, Frank Wright with uh, yeah. the Colts. Um, Any of those make your top ten? I like Vrabel. Mm. Vrabel guy, I like Vrabel. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I like Vrabel. I like Vrabel, and I like Lafleur, Lafleur too. But I like Vrabel. Yeah. Vrabel at ten, Lafleur is an honorable mention. Now, okay, okay. 
So we got yeah. a few questions about this list. One, I'm curious. Can you make the case for Tom and Yeah, the best? I want. I, I want to hear, hear that. Yeah. At what? In Tom, terms of Coach T at one, you had him at one, right? Yeah, Coach T at one for sure. Yeah. So, so elaborate. Yeah, sure. t- talk about that a little bit. Uh, I think Coach T is the best coach in the league. Yeah, I think the way he leads, the way he gets his players to play, um, the way he prepares. I think he has knowledge. Um, extremely smart. He's not an offensive coach. He's more of a defensive coach. And I think that's why it's not, um, I would just say, as flashy. But I think he's the best coach in the league. Um, I think he got a team to win. Well, remember that one year when Duck Hodges was the coach? Duck and Mason, yeah. Yeah. That was like, that was honestly uh, uh, like a terrible unit he had left. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he still made that work. Like, I've seen him make teams work. I think he has the record for what, like most consecutive. Oh yeah, he. Parents. Yeah, in terms of um, and he also has obviously the no losing seasons as well, man. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like he has statistical records. You know what I mean? Got the um, longevity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's he's LeBron of the league to me. You know, I think he's the best coach in the league. Of there's elites in there for sure. Yeah. You know. But I think he's LeBron of the league. I think he's number one. Now, uh, but how do you Belichick feel about that's what that's the one I wanted to hear about the Belichick and Andy Reid and even McVay. Those are the ones we need to know. I think Belichick is too, because Belichick is Belichick. You mm-hmm. know, I think Belichick is a leader. He he wins. He's proven to win all those Super Bowls. Uh, he's just a proven winner. He's also a defensive minded coach, also. So I don't think it's as flashy. You know, yeah. but I think that's uh, it's a proven winner. He gets it out of them. Um, I think he's at two. I say McVay at three because I think that's when you do start to get over into that flashiness. And I think McVay is a young gun. He's a star. Yeah. You know, he's uh he's like your oh, no comparison. He's just he's your guy. He's like the next guy, but he's the guy. Like he's well, I mean, he's, he's there. Yeah, like you said, the new wave, right? You talk about a yeah. young guy winning a lot early on. <laughs> Yo, the chat, he's y'all there. are crazy right now. But um, in terms, know. in terms of like you said, them winning. I mean, was it five years now? He has two Super Bowl appearances, one win, right. multiple NFC Championship game appearances. Yeah, right. He's a star. Like he's a star. You know, um, Not without a doubt. I can see McVay getting to like, if if he ever leaves, I can see him being a cowboy. Mm. I put him see. in Jerry's world. Yeah, I can see him. He might. Jerry will give him the bag. Jerry would he, definitely break. He backing up the Brinks truck to him. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Like he's a star. He's yeah. a star. Um, if Sean Payton was still in the league, Sean Payton would have been in my top five too. Okay, fair enough. You know, he's a star. I think. Um, what was that four? We said uh, Andy Reid. Yeah, Andy I guess you said Reid. Yeah. 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 Andy Reid's like the McVay's the new Andy Reid to me. You know, like mm. he's Andy Reid's a star. Andy Reid's a star. Not fast. He's been doing it for a minute. You know, real flashy. Two locations too. Mind, Yo, you know, get it done. Uh, I like Andy Reid. Andy Reid to go get him though. Mm. You know, like Andy, Andy Reid brought he brought Vic back. Like he'll go hey, he'll go I get him. He'll go he get. Did do yeah. that. He'll go yeah. get him. I've seen I've seen Andy Reid put um. Put that wide receiver on Kansas City for a couple of years. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, so it's like he'll he'll really go get him. He'll take a chance. I think he gets the the good at the best out of guys. Mm-hmm. He's uh he's flashy. It looks good. It looks yeah. great. You know, and he he seems real relaxed. I think he's a leader for sure. Um, I think Andy Reid is a regular season All American. Like he's mm. he's almost a pop. yeah during yeah. the season. He's tough. He's tough. You know, like if if you're a betting man, especially in them first five six weeks, like you always gotta go with Andy. That on Andy, yeah, yeah. He gonna he gonna fix it up. He gonna have formations you haven't seen in years. You know, he gonna just make it make it exciting to watch. Nah, so he's definitely there. Yeah. And then we went what, Coach Carroll, Coach Pete. Yeah, yeah, you did have Pete. That, that's your old coach too, man. Yeah. Now we we I, I like Pete. I had him at five. Uh, Deke, where'd you have Pete on your list? Yeah, five or six. But say we we we, we like Pete Carroll around here, man. Yeah, he's a mid major guy. He's he's all right. He's not even. <laughs> See, <laughs> no, tumble, 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 tumble. See, <laughs> this is the difference. 
of a person that's played for multiple guys now. You, did you hear the tone? I don't know if you caught that. He was not as optimistic and high on Pete Carroll as he I'm was about Coach T. Three. He played yeah. for both of these dudes. You I'm hear the difference in his tone, though. That's what I was talking about. I'm like, yo, not everybody is as high on certain people as we are. I'm very high on Pete Carroll, but I don't. I've never experienced Pete Carroll on that level. I think Coach Pete still is got him outside. in the top five, though. Yeah. He's top five. He's a, I mean, he's an OG. He's a leader. Uh, he's fun. I think he's a better. Well, no, let me not say that. I just think he's a really good coach. I think he's a really good coach. I think it's. I think it. <laughs> Yo, you I are think, funny. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. You are funny. Oh my! It is. It's funny because I know some of the back. I, I know some of the back end of this that you're not talking about. It's just like you trying to tiptoe around this thing. <laughs> Yo. As, you know, all good. Uh, okay, he's a good. He's a good leader. We'll he's leave it at that. Coach. Just leave it at that. We'll leave it yeah. at that, man. Just leave it at that, bro. We're good. I think I want to hear more about Arians <laughs> at that sixth spot. <laughs> One of them spots, I think, it's funner to watch <laughs> from the outside than being on the inside. You know, like from the outside in, I think it's a different story than the inside yeah. out. But I think <laughs> great, great coach. You know, fun program. Yeah. He was like, he wins. He won at SC. Mm-hmm. That, that counts to the resume. Yeah. He won at SC. He's won at Seattle. Um, yeah, yeah. Good coach. Good fun coach. He always got good energy, good yeah. belief. He always believes he's going to win. Um, he'll, he'll get out of a building at 14-10. Yeah. You know, he's definitely a defensive-minded coach. He'll leave 14-10. He'll leave 21-14. Um. I think he would love like like how the Steelers teams built is one of how his teams would be built. Like mm. real run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, play defense, let's get out of here. Yeah. Like, that's just that's his mentality. Like not too fancy. Pete Carroll's. Nah, I like and that. Then, okay. Yeah. Then we say hardball. You know, you gotta respect that. I mean, I don't like him because he's a Baltimore guy, but I gotta like. I gotta respect him, man. He's one of them dudes really like He's a staple, bro. Yeah. Regardless of who his team is, who at quarterback, who's healthy, who's not, he's gonna find a way. Yeah. You know? And it's gonna he's gonna make it work. Like, yeah. You know, even the Lamar thing, like like a lot of coaches probably wouldn't be able to really work with that. Like mm. he's had to totally change. It just shows how he can adjust to different things. Yeah. You know, it shows how he can be relatable. Um because I mean it's way more than just the the play style is the the personality style mm. the flow of it like all that's different you know so it's like he's having to play with different type personalities and he wins with that mm. you know comes from good good background he's a good coach he's a leader you always know what you're gonna get out of Baltimore yeah I like it. I, like I, can, it. I can respect that list. That's a solid top 10 right there. Yeah. I like that list. I like that. Now, we did have another thing that we were talking about prior to you jumping on. You know what I'm saying? That we, we needed to get your thoughts on that yeah. wide receiver market, baby. Terry yeah. McClellan just got the three for 71. Scary Terry, okay. 23 per year. 23 a year. How you feeling okay. now if you Deontay? Is, is, is that your new number? Because what we were talking with you 17, 18, yeah, right? Yeah, that's what we talked about. We thought about. that was a good range. Are you feeling any different um, right now? So I think, so if I'm Deontay, I think it's dope that to see these people get paid, yeah. obviously, it's, it's exciting. You know, I think Scary Terry's kind of set a, a capital for what Deontay could get, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think Deontay can get more than what Terry McCoy gets. You know, you talking Pittsburgh though? Yeah, I'm talking yeah. in Pittsburgh. Okay, I don't think, okay. I I think that set the the tip mm. for where he can get. Does that make sense? So, um, now why do know. you think that though? Why why can't he get more than twenty? I, I or excuse me, more than twenty three. We know Diggs at twenty four, but that's a team Diggs deal. That was a friendly. Too. That was a hey yo. They got the brother law thing going on up there. No, he can't go where Diggs is at. He can't go all the way up there. Okay. He he can't go all the way up there. We we know that he can't go up there. Yeah. But he can go sit. He can go sit under Scary Terry. I believe that's over DJ Moore. Yeah, because DJ's DJ getting Moore. what twenty? Is DJ's he, he's 20, at twenty, yeah. right? Yeah. So DJ's at twenty. We saying what Terry McCollum's at what twenty three? Twenty three. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's his sweet spot right in there. 
you know, 20, 21, 22, 23. Like, he can get something in that range. That's where he can work at. But it, it, it set a top to his his conversations, you know? Like, he can't go up in the 24. He can't do that. He can't say 24. That's when you're in Diggs range, like yeah. 25. You're up there. In, but, uh, if, but if we're talking about Deontay, I also think you got to take into account for him that, hey, if you don't sign a long term and they tag you next year, you're still going to guarantee that 20 on a one year. But if right. you can get to this open market within two seasons, right. bro, you can get 24 plus million out there. And if I think you go to the open market in two years and he's, he's doing well, he's going to be in like 25, 26, like, 27. Seriously. So that's why yeah. I'm kind of like, if you're Deontay, do you just, do you want to take that deal? If they trying that's to give a, you 20, mm-hmm. like, when you, you know that's available, two, you gotta fight for two years to get maybe like, which sounds crazy, but like six, seven more, you know, because yeah. you're not about to blow the top off of it. You're not gonna get up there in like the thirty ranges like that. I just don't see that unless you're just a star. And then but all it needs is one year. If you have a let, let whether this season or if they tag him and that's the following season, let right. that be the year where he goes off. And has another eight thousand and say thirteen touchdowns or something like that, hundred plus receptions. Yeah, open market. You might be looking and saying, "Man, we need a guy." The offense is built for that. Yeah, that's and the question. Yeah. And business is business. Like, not to say it gets weird like this, but it, like, it, don't the, it, don't you downplay <laughs> it? Don't you don't like, you dare downplay that? <laughs> it does get wall, weird. Like, you yeah, know for a fact weird. it gets weird, bro. You yeah. Pickens stop. Pickens gets a few more. Snaps. Okay, I'm about to say, don't you don't don't you shy away from that thing, man? No, nah, that's that's a hundred percent accurate, the bro. Ball, like, they yes, they will. You know they will. Out, Come on, bro. They start. Hey, they start yeah. with. We want to run and hit the tight ends early on. All right. Yeah. They start featuring maybe, Gentry. <laughs> maybe we just want to have a big package where you know we got Pickens out uh-huh. here. They pull out here. You just start. Okay. A We're becoming a more physical team. They start doing weird yeah. stuff. All right. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. Telling you, like it's get, things get weird when like you just can't get the business together. So yeah. I, I just don't think that would be in his best benefit to try to wait mm. two more years. Just to, and it sounds like I mean maybe maybe you do blow the top off, but I don't think he's he's not going to get in those thirty yeah. a year numbers. I just don't see him getting in those. Like not nah, not. Nah, I guess not for right me, now. the only reason why I say it's all right to wait is because you know if they tag you, you're going to get your twenty. Right. Because the debate prior to all these other guys getting these deals to make the franchise tag go up to 20 was, oh man, do you pay him 15? Do you pay him 18? So now it's like, okay, it makes sense to hold out until you at least, or not hold out, but it makes sense to not sign anything until they say we're going to franchise you, where at least you know you got your 20 bare minimum. But right. if they decide that you're not worth that 20, if they see Pickens this season, they say, yo, he's bald or he's ready to go. They see Claypool and like, yeah, he's ready to go. Well, right. that's a good thing for Deontay because if he hits the open market, next year instead of them tagging him that's even better right right i mean that's cool but i mean he didn't do nothing this year if that's the case this, you know? yeah i see what you're saying mm-hmm. i see what you, like for I, them to go off he's gonna have to take a, a step back in productivity i mean his pickings is gonna have to it's not so much the the it's not I'm, it sounds bad but it's not the productivity it's the skill set that he brings you know, mm-hmm. like he brings that run after catch. He yep. brings that playmaking ability. Mm-hmm. That's his game. You know, like Claypool is more of the big guy right now. Yeah. You Take the shot down field guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The shot. We're going to try to throw the jump ball to you. We're going to hit you. Like if you throw them screens, them right now. That's playing. not his game. Now he, he He's yeah. posts. He's corners. He's verticals. Yeah. yeah. That's the Deontay's game. Like they, mm-hmm. they kind of use him a little bit. A.B. ish. Like, yeah, he can run after the catch. He can make a play. Slam so, screens. Now it passes. Yo. Yeah. You do possibly see that skill set in anybody you've just brought in here. Then you're like, okay, well, I see that skill set I'm looking for. It might not be as productive today, mm. but I see that skill set I'm looking for. And now you're having different conversations where you're like, all right, well, we're just not going to go over this certain number that you feel solid about. Mm. You know, probably around that 21, 20. Like, I think it's 21 to 23 is his limit now. Yeah. If you get 23, you should be excited. Like, you know? Um, How do you feel if you're the Steelers with the number going think- up to that? And I just think it gives you a top. Like, you're 23 is the most you're going to go. And it's like, if you don't want to do it, like, we don't have to get it done. That's how I would be talking. Like, I, you know what I mean? I would get Boswell done, and I'd kind of sit and wait. And I, I'd, I'd watch. I'd see what it's going to be. 
You know, I'd see if that run the ball, play defense. I'd see what what you have in your young boys. You know what I mean? Because I mean, if say say the picket steps up, then you got a situation where you're saving almost nineteen, twenty million, like possibly for a year or two. You know what I mean? Then you're then you're talking to people like, well, Claypool's up next per se. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You're, you're you're just having different conversations, like so. I mean. It is it's it's a risk reward for sure. It's it's a lot of uh, the dare game a little bit. Like, well, let me see if you got something better than me. You know, yeah. um, I think I think he's betting on himself for sure. If he doesn't get it done, but it's I mean it's a risk reward. Like you've seen stories where people bet on themselves and it works out. Yeah, you know, and they get all types of money. And it's like he bet on themselves. It might take him another two years to get paid like that though. It's like, do you want to do that? How old is he? You know, you start having yeah. combos like that. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, it's like, um, you know, you can get this done right now. You don't have to worry about that no more. You can put that in the past. I think it brings a less pressure uh, on your, on, you know, it brings less pressure on yeah. everybody. I think it, it a little bit puts pressure on these quarterbacks, though, to where it's like you, I do have to hit my, my guy, yeah. Play, mm-hmm. You know, so I think that factors in as well. You know what I mean? Like, yo, we're not about to, we're not about to break the market for you. We we don't we don't even have that solidarity at quarterback yet to say we want to do that. Yeah, you know. So, I think all those factor in. Uh, I think they want to get it done. Uh, I'm sure they wanted to get it done before they get the Latrobe, but I think if they get Latrobe and it's not done, I don't think it's going to get done this year. Mm, okay. Well, Omar Khan has been on record saying that they are going to continue that same approach of not negotiating in season. So, yeah, yeah if it's not yeah. done before, then, yeah, got to definitely I do it. I just don't see the Steelers doing stuff. Like, they just don't get stuff done in season. Like, yeah. If it's not done, it's like it's not done. We'll worry about that next year. And now you're playing the betting game. Like, yeah. Let's see who does what, who gets what. How many catches do you get? Is this running the ball thing really, really working? You know, what do what do we need to do? Like, yeah. what's the best mesh for the team? That's I interesting. Don't know. Yeah, I don't think you. I was just. Uh, it's just gonna be hard to get out of there. That's my whole thing. Like, he, he's just he has two years. He has to deal with this. So it's just it's not easy to get out of there. I know you want to get paid. So I mean, if they can get a number that. You know what I mean? I don't want to say team friendly, but if it if they can find that number like twenty two, I think he should take that. You know? Yeah, I think he should take that and run. I don't know if the Steelers should yeah. take that. I don't though. think the Steelers. Yeah, that's the thing. If you Pittsburgh, why do it? I'm sure Steelers are down in like nineteen, right? Eighteen, seven. It's like that twenty. Mm-hmm. That twenty three is a. That, and I said that's a cat. Like that's a high number. 23 yeah. nasty. You ain't trying to touch that twenty three. Not if you still. I just think DJ DJ Moore gets twenty a year. You know. And I'm like, I think he can get in there above DJ Moore. Mm. I really do. I think he can get in there higher than DJ Moore. So, but I just don't think he can get over what Scary Terry's getting at 23. I think that set a cap for him. I think he wanted to get that done before he got that done. Mm. You see it? Because if he so was signed first, got... then he could get 21, 22, or who knows what. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're saying. He wanted to get that done before he got that done. So now when he got that done, that's at the top. That's like, no, we can't go over that number. You know we're not going in that top five number range. We're not doing that. You know we're not doing that. He's not getting what Dave's getting. He's not getting those. A.J. Brown's only getting, what, 24? 25. He's not getting. No. He can't get what A.J. got. We know that. Mm-hmm. Dave's got 24. And Dave's, Dave's productivity filthy, so yeah. He, 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 you just can't go in that range. You can't yeah. start having those talks with those boys. Devontae Adams up there, Tyreek up there. Those are different numbers. Like, he can't go in that top five range. No. If they're in that top five range, he won't get it done. It, it won't happen. And that, no. he's, he's way too high. And, like, I just think that 20 to 23, that's, that's it. That's it. Like, that's his range. So if he's getting combos in those ranges, he should consider getting it done. That's what I'm, that's really what I'm saying. Cause, it's going to get weird. Like, you're not going to go higher than that. And, I mean, you can settle on you're not going lower than that. He can stand on that. Yeah. Especially with that franchise tag going to be, what, like around 20 yeah, next year. that's the thing. You know? that so, he can stand nice. on that. Yeah, that tag's nice. And if you want that tag, he can do that tag. Mm-hmm. And then he's going to hit the market. Mm-hmm. That's two years from now. That's a lot of football. That is. A lot of running. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's a lot of running and, and he getting jumping hit. and cutting. Yeah. You know, getting hit, 
then you start like, no, I want to come out the game. You start letting other people, you know how it goes. Absolutely. Start letting, letting them see other looks. Or they start, cause like I said, package. Just start playing with you. Little stuff starts happening. And then it's like. Our boy said, we're going, we going uh, heavy receiver package on uh, the first. Heavy receiver. Oh, every, every first and second down. Actually, it's third down. Come yeah, we're we, we going double tight ends here. Ah, what? What? Yeah. Deontay, just come, come on, on for a second, man. We go, just, Pickens is just for this play right here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Are they putting them big receivers in with them big tight ends? Come on, like, man. Oh, we feel big. We get this big running back. Like, <laughs> it just, they'll make, they'll make it look good. <laughs> the show will continue. You know? <laughs> Bro, now that, we were, that's tough. Now, we were talking a little bit about this before you hopped on, and this is Mike Tomlin and play calling. The reports that he's going to be giving up the play calling duties and Terrell Austin is going to be taking over. Any opinions on that? Um, yeah, I think that's kind of just like it's the dead period right now. You know, we're in the dead days. Like it's no <laughs> basketball, no baseball. I mean, no basketball. Bubble ball, no football, right? Yeah. You know, no hockey. Like we're not getting nothing. So I think that's just kind of something to talk about. I think he's still gonna. Uh, he's still gonna call. Like, let me not say call the plays, but he's still gonna like. Prepare the people. He's trying to prepare the kids, prepare the players, giving them what they what they're looking for all throughout the week. He's still going to be very influential in the types of blitzes that come, in the uh, style of blitz per se, like the bases. He's going to be very influential in everything about the defense. So I think he's going to be doing honestly the same thing he's been doing. He's just kind of delegating some of the spotlight to I got an assistant here or I got a, a D coordinator that's going to be calling the plays, mm -hmm. but I believe he's going to be doing the same thing. He really has been doing like, he's not going to change a formula that's been successful. And it's not like he wasn't calling the plays before, you know, like coach Butts was calling the plays or coach LeBeau was calling the plays. Tell him like, TG, oh, we know what we saw. I don't care. Yeah. What, I don't care what none of these reports that we know what we saw. I know who mouth yeah. I saw moving. Stop it. They say me 33. Like, come, you know on, it, but, we know, come, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, you know where that's coming from. Come on, man. It's like, I think he's going to be – I just think he's going to do the exact same thing he's been doing. Like, I just don't see nothing changing dramatically. Like, I think he has more – more. Uh, he's just kind of giving – he's just delegating the spotlight. Like, yo, this is my D coordinator, you mm -hmm. know? Like, this is – my D coordinator, this is what it is, this is how it's going to go. But he's going to be doing the same thing in, um, in the fourth quarter. If it gets tight, I'm sure he's going to hey, run the blitz. I'm sure he's going to, you know, yeah. he's going to have conversations. Like He's going to be the same Coach T that he's been. You know, he's just got more people in there helping him out, helping him build what he's trying to build. You know, helping him try to put his hand in, as he would say, to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. So it's like... I think he's going to be the same guy. I don't see it being no different. I just think that's, you know, this time of the year, this time of talk where it's like, here, look, let me give you all something to talk about. Like, I'm not about to be doing this so much. You know, he's going to be doing the same thing. I like it then, man. You feel it? No, no, he got that makes sense. Flores in there too. It's that's what I brought yeah, up, man. That's what you're talking about. For me, I you said, know, man, with, another, with Flores in Austin, man, yeah, you got to feel more confident in those guys too, man. They're proven. They're proven. Yeah. You know? You trust these dudes. I, I really think this is like the first time that this is just a total Coach Tomlin staff staff, you know? Like, I think Coach LeBeau was going to be there. You know what I mean? That was that was almost not a sign, but you know what I mean? You no, know, he was going like, to be there. You're right. He was going to be there. I think Coach Butts was going to be there. He was the next. He was the heir to the throne. Mm -hmm. So it's like that was him. This is the first time that it's like, okay, I chose – I really chose just my D coordinator, you know. I chose this man to be the D coordinator. I got everything per se chosen. So they, they all understand the hierarchy of this is how I want it done. This is how we're doing it. But I'm giving you the the, the keys to drive the car. Mm. But if I got to if I got to come direct a little bit, I'll come help direct a little bit. But these are your keys per se, you know. So um, I think it's still his show, but. I just think he's giving a little bit more spotlight to his assistants. Like, they are genuinely going to be heavily involved in calling the plays or helping me out. 
Nah, I like it. I like it. Now, I think we all got a similar sentiment then in terms of our feelings on this. So, no, nah, man, that's dope. And I'm glad that you actually called back, man, or at least hit me back up, man, because we were definitely nervous. We was like, yo, he, oh, done, he, he done fell off the cliff somewhere, man. He done, he done got ghost, man. But it is I good to hear that you. people forgot about me. Nah, yeah. man, the chat was asking. They was like, yo, <laughs> what happened to him, man? I was like, yo, maybe... You know how I go, man. He just sat down. You know what I'm saying? One thing here, one thing led to another. And hey, he's not here with us today. You know what I'm saying? But, dog days in the train, come bro, on, guys. man. But, but but I'm glad I'm glad you was able to pull back up, man. So salute you for that, man. We'll always keep chopping it up like we always do, baby. Nice. My lock up, man. I need to know about these top five linebackers, man. Like, oh no, no, no! You, that that you, that, you that is no, 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 no. We because we we actually talked about that earlier today too. We said that is happening asap. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, no, no, no. It's the off season. We but, got our ranking list. Exactly, man. Because this when you give your rankings, I don't want to hear your rankings in season. That's cheating. I, I want to know right before the season. So this is that time what, frame. What, what, Absolutely. What? Absolutely. You know, I want to know if you put certain people. Yeah. In your top five. Yeah. yeah. You you never know, man. I I might you know come up with a guy. You know what I'm saying. Hey man, you I never got, know. I can't never wait to know. hear your top ten coaches. Oh, I can't wait to hear what you say. Oh, oh, you, oh yeah, I, I just did mine. Hold on, I got you real quick. Yeah, I didn't get your yeah, because he, because this is what happened. We were supposed to have this conversation like an hour ago, and it's about to be oh. seven. And what my problem is, the way my situation set up with wifey is, sharing yeah. the clock like that time. You feel me? Ah. So that's why I'm like, yo. <laughs> but don't worry. We will be dropping. We're going to make sure that we put the, the, the graphics up with all the top 10 so you can see it and everything okay. like that. So, yeah, you ain't got, yeah, I, you know, I ain't got to hide, baby. Come on, baby. It's I just gotta I, I got to keep wifey happy. You know what I'm saying? That's we cool. had this conversation these past couple of days. Happy yeah. wife. You know what I'm saying, baby? I'm trying to keep it trying to keep it right. That's all. That's all. <laughs> so, so, so you're going to see mine on the back end. All right. But just know we're going to keep this thing rolling as always, baby. All right, guys. My dog. All right. I'll holler at you, baby. All right, bro. All right. Peace. Peace. Shout out to my locker mate, Terrence Garvin.